Now just a couple more minor points regarding cost curves. Uh, here we're really getting into the question of what do our costs look like as we change production. Now naturally we know that fixed costs are fixed. Variable costs will naturally go up as we produce more. We need more materials, more labor, and what have you. Um, but how do they increase? Um, here, how that increase happens is really influenced by the diminishing marginal returns. Diminishing marginal returns suggest that as you increase the quantity of a variable input, the amount that it adds to production will eventually diminish. Right. So here the idea is, for example, imagine that we have uh, a certain set of fixed inputs, say a factory with a bunch of machinery in it. And we start out with having, without having any laborers at all. Naturally, this isn't going to produce much of anything. Uh, but then we decide we're going to hire a laborer and get some materials for them. Naturally, we're going to produce something. Um, then we hire a second laborer. Now, it very well might be that when we hire the second laborer, we're going to be more than twice as productive. There is, after all, the possibility for, say, these two workers to specialize more, and that could increase their productivity. Um, but then we hire a third worker, and a fourth worker, and a fifth worker. And eventually we get to the point where they have a nice assembly line going that's pretty, pretty efficient. Once we hit that point, hiring another worker won't necessarily increase productivity very much. Instead, now, we're just creating the possibility of, say, one of the workers being able to take a break every now and then, so you don't have to work you know, quite as continuously, that kind of thing. Eventually, we get to the point where we hire additional workers, and they're just having to sweep the floor, and we get extremely small increases in productivity from having this more pleasant work environment. Uh, so the result that we will end up seeing because of this is that there's an acceleration of cost as production increases. And so the first few increases in production come relatively cheaply. That is, costs don't go up very fast, perhaps not even as fast as production does. But eventually we get to the point where for us to increase production more, we need to take on a lot of additional costs. Right? Okay, so that's the idea. Um, and that we can display in a cost curve right here. This is the shape of a typical total cost curve. Um, we start out, if we produce nothing at all, there will still be some kind of total cost there. Um, that's the total of our fixed costs. If we don't produce anything, we still have those fixed costs hanging around. But then, as we increase production, we have an increase in t total cost. But as the more we increase production, we have an acceleration in that increase in total cost. Or what we, how the way I've set it up here is having that same increase in total cost each time. At first, it gives us this big boost in output, but then it gives us a slower and slower boost in output as production increases.